Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Dago here, and welcome back to Oblivion. Welcome to my little humble shack, my little cozy, warm shack, where we can just stare into the fire. But no time for relaxation such as that, because duty calls. We have a handful of quests that we have on our hands. Um, we have to go confront an alleged vampire. And also, I need to continue my special jobs for Armand, in addition to robbing the entire Imperial City, which is my ultimate life goal. So, first, let us perhaps... Uh, Ah, out there. So maybe we... Mm, black Waterside Stables, perhaps? Travel here first and then go west. Oh! What on... Oh, oopsies. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Guys, I, you seem to be having some trouble. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh gosh, I want a black horse. Uh, but no time to be envious. We must travel down the road, though the road may be dangerous, filled with supposed vampires who kill their girlfriends. Very strange. I'm not certain I buy it myself, but... Oh look, a highwayman. Shut up. Uh, no, not really. I'm not trying to impress you. Bye! You aren't worth my time, friend. Foe. You're not worth my time, foe. How long are you gonna follow me? A waterfall? No, hang on just a minute. I don't think I've ever seen a waterfall in Skyrim before. I'm Skyrim. Pff, oblivion! Do you guys remember seeing waterfalls? I don't remember this. This is awesome. Is there anything interesting here? Hang on, I'm gonna explore. Sploosh. Anything, 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 anything? Waterfall! Okay, no, I think it's just pretty. Although I think, do I spy Nernroot? Aha! I'm actually gonna collect a few more things. Oh gosh. Oh, it's you! Fine. Oh, don't heal yourself. You complete twit. Don't even want your dagger. What is wrong with you? What is this? Oh, it's just a rock. And there's nothing exciting in this water at all. It's just pretty. It's just pretty. Collect some more plants. Nothing of use. Primrose. No, that's ginseng. Where were you when I was being attacked just now yet? Noodlehead? Okay. Uh, flax. Excellent. Flax is very good. Very good. Okay. Let us be on our way. We have things to do. But that's really cool. See, even after all these years, uh, <laughs> after all these years, there's still stuff to discover in Oblivion. Um, even more so in Skyrim, I'm sure, because I haven't... What the? Is that a deer? But why the- why do? Why? Okay. Anyway. <sighs> My point being, I have been all over Oblivion. I've played Oblivion a lot, and there are still things that I haven't found. I can't wait to get into Skyrim. If you guys want me do, to do a full Let's Play of Skyrim, I will 100% do that. I have been thinking about doing it for a long time. It is a very long game, though, so there is a part of me that's a bit concerned. What is that? That it, it's a bit too long for my typical attention span for Let's Plays. 
And seeing as how this is kind of like my- what the heck? That tree is straight up floating in the sky. What are you doing up there? Oh, my eyeball. Ah! A tree in my eyeball. There we go. Got that eyelash. That offending eyelash. Oh, are we here? Apparently we are. Oh, no, I haven't gotten the offending eyelash. Ah! <laughs> I've arrived at Roland's cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's here. I should be cautious, as Serator warned me that vampires could be very dangerous. Yeah, sure. You... Oh, a repair hammer! I will take. Anything around back that I should, uh... That I should look at? No? Alright. He should be asleep. Oh. Oh. Hi. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. Leave you alone, huh? Are you vampire? a vampire? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? Serator says you're one. That bastard. Serator dares accuse me of being a vampire? Me? Ha! He's the one who is the vampire. I knew it. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Calm down and explain, Roland, because I'm here to kill you. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Relfina. What happened? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serida. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. Aww. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you tell someone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Hmm. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Nah. I'm not going to kill you. You don't even look like a vampire. Seridor, however, definitely looked like a vampire. Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about Serador, though. I know about Serador and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. Mm-hmm. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Grace wrote anything, but you could always try. Okay, well... Remain leery of Serador. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. Okay. Ooh, a flawless diamond. Well, I'll take that. You've got all kinds of cool stuff around. Thank you for sparing me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm still going to rob you. Not that you seem to have anything, but I'll take your diamond. Ooh, an oblivion gate. Where did I leave my horse? There he is. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take the long road back. Ooh, it's right there. Whew. Whew. All right, let's get that on the map, because we're going to want to start tackling those eventually. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, great. I hate how you have to get, like, right up on them. Oh, boy. Eee! For the I hate how you have to get right up on them for them to show up on the map. Because inevitably, then you aggro the little monsters. 
And they follow you forever. Ooh, oblivion! Run away! Run away! They're probably still behind me, but that's okay. I found Fort Udasek. Okay, so we can either continue this little vampire quest we've got going on, or they're not gonna follow me across the water. Oh gosh, I forgot how slow horses are when swimming. Uh, they can barely swim at all. Come on! There we go. Alright. Or we can uh, move on to some hunting. Hunting. I saw the deer and my brain went... Um, thieving. Maybe do one of those quests for Armand. Yeah. Hmm, perhaps. Okay. Ooh, look, you can see the moon. Kind of. Is that the moon or is that the sun? With all the fiddly stuff happening, it's kind of hard to tell. Let us... Okay, so... Uh, we'll investigate his story. Roland told me that Serator makes the occasional trip to the first edition bookshop in the market district, and I should speak to the owner, Fintius. Okay. Market district it is. Oh, I need to see how much stuff I have to sell. Uh, okay, I'm alright. You have my ear, citizen. I don't want it! Stop offering me your ear! Lord of mercy. What is it? Oh, I didn't ask you anything. Golly, these people keep bugging me. Hey! I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. I like you, Fintius. I want you to like me. Going to say. Oh my gosh, why are you guys always so mean? Okay, hates admiration, loves joking. Okay with boasting. Loves joking. That's cool. great. How's it go again? Uh Uh-oh, that's Don't probably going to be the best I get on Really? Admiration. Okay. Remarkable. Joke. I like that. A oh, lot. heavens. Uh All right. Don't waste your flattery on me. Is that uh, so? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay, fine. This is that was not a good one. That, there we go. Such rot. Uh. That's just oh, that was wrong. Well. That was wrong. Okay. I'm not doing so well this time around. Remarkable. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> okay. You don't try to manipulate me. This is really frustrating sometimes. I, wish I could say that. That. Oh, don't try to manipulate me. Uh huh. Shut up. Don't try Here to we manipulate go. me. Shut up. I like that a lot. Goody, goody, goody. Is that? Where'd you, what? Really? There How we go. Okay, so now you like me. Can you believe that when I first played Oblivion, I never bothered to do that at all? I just was like, everyone's gonna hate me, and I don't care. I actually didn't understand the mechanics super well, but I was a child. So what do you under? What do you expect? Um. Serator. Really to discuss my customers with strangers. I we're not strangers. We're best friends. Yes. Here, take some money. That will get you something. Okay. Serator? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Why? And sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. Hmm. Memorial Cave? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. Oh. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore. As the route is dangerous. I see. But Sarder is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. Oh, great. I He's looked liked. Up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Thank you. 
I'll be going now. Day. Hey, watch your tone. We're friends. Best friends. Okay. Uh, I'm invested in this one now, this quest. Uh, I think I'll do some robbing after it. But why don't we travel to Fort Udisek and then... Oh, great. Goblins. Let's be on our way. I can outrun them easily. Okie dokie. It's always frustrating when the villain is like, Oh, everybody loves them. They're so great. They're so cool. It's like, no. Who's attack? Oh, it's a hog. I don't care about you, although he's probably going to keep up with me. Ooh. This is cool. I love how I still haven't officially found it. Oh, maybe it's not actually a... It's not a landmark? Right, that's the landmark. Flee, dear! Flee! Fort Magia Wellspring Cave? Wait, I found two... Oh, yeah, I did. Look at that. This road isn't that dangerous. Come on now, what you talking about? Oh, there it is. Wow. Man, I don't remember, I don't really remember this quest at all. So cool. Oh. Memorial Cave. Who's attacking me? Is it a crab? It's a crab. Hey, crab. I could go for some sushi. Kablam. Give me your crab meat. Mmm, boy. Okay. Into Memorial Cave we go. This is a funky looking cave. I am being watched. Oh, probably by my horse. I hate that. How Your horse seeing you technically counts as being spotted. I've entered Memorial Cave. It's now being used as a vampire den. How can I tell? I need to see if I can find Serator in here and put a stop to his charade. Oh. <sighs> What on earth is going on down here? Ew! Why did you set the corpse on fire? Why? Ugh. Okay. Oh! Oh, for heaven's sake. What was that about? Die. Okay, what what arrows do I currently have equipped? Steel arrows. How about we use the Dramora field arrows for a little bit? Those will be rather impactful. Give me back my arrows, please. Ooh, iron armor. <gasps> Steel gauntlets. Oh no, there's so much good loot and I am full of crap. <clears throat> Okay, you know what? You can have you can have the steel dagger. Um What else do I have on me that is not important? You know what? I should probably really quickly run home and drop off all this crap and just like leave it on the floor, frankly, cuz I'm going to find some good stuff in here. Oh, no. I want that back. Ah, dang it. <sighs> this is not going well. Ugh. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, take back your iron shield and your greaves, okay? Cool, cool. Uh, I am really quickly gonna run home and then I'm gonna fast travel back here. I just gotta get rid of some stuff. <sighs> what a pain. Okay, um... Imperial City, please. Yes, thank you. Whee! Wee, wee. Okay. Oh, there's Armand leaving. Eh. Man, I really wish I had some chests or like a box outside my house or something. Do I have a box outside my house? I do. 
Oh, give me the quill. I'm gonna throw it in the water. Um, you can keep... Strong potion of might, sea stride. Take all of this stuff. Okay. I wish there was a faster way... Uh, to deposit stuff en masse. I have too many radishes. Okay. Take all the sweet rolls. I have a lot of stuff. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Flawless diamond. You can take my skulls. My precious, precious skulls. Get out of here. Okay. Great. It did not use. Didn't use the. I think the stolen repair hammers get used last. Okay. Let us continue on our quest. All right, and I will steal all that stuff off of you. Ooh. Ooh, a fallen arrow. Ugh. Where did it, did I pass it? Am I losing my my mind? It just disappeared. Okay. Oh gosh, which way should I go? This way, perhaps? Oh, that is a big wolf! Do you see that? It's a straight up ginormous wolf. Okay. Wait, maybe... Maybe it's deceptive. Maybe he's a normal sized wolf. No! He looks huge. Ow. Oh! I didn't realize I didn't have any potions equipped. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. Give me my steel arrows. No, my iron arrows. Oh gosh, this is bad. I, okay, you know what, hang on. <laughs> I, I, sh I should not, should not have, I should have changed weapons after I shot him. Crap. Oh, I'm doing it again. Crap! <sighs> I don't remember what my hotkey is. Dang, wolf! Jeez! Yikes! That did not go well! I shouldn't have remained crouched, probably. But I don't want to get seen. Okay, cool. He didn't see me. Oh, I don't have any... Uh, let's just use iron arrows for now. Oh, a zombie. Great. Zombies are the worst. Oh, no. Ow! Don't you dare make- give me a disease. Get out of here! Good. Whew. What do we have? More flesh? A silver fork? Okay. Alright, let's explore just a little bit. Bones. Why was there a wolf in here? I ask you. Hmm. 
Iron War Axe, Iron Shield. A heck to- Ooh, ah, oh, dang it. Hectone of armor. Highly doubt I can carry it all. Oh, I can. I can carry it all. What I don't want um, is your dark shirt or your moccasins. I have no need of those. Very good. Anybody else in here? Oh, he's a hand-to-hand -hand combat man. Come on! Sure I will. Thank you. Ooh, steel! Okay, now I'm over-encumbered. You can take the war axe, the dagger... Uh, I guess the boots and the gauntlets are not super important. And the helmet. Oh gosh, that's still not enough. I hate how little I can carry. No, oh, the wolf pelt only weighs a little bit. Uh, ha, ha, uh. Mm. You can have the steel dagger. I have no need of that. Okay. Let's keep moving. This is a big cave, though. Ew! Oh, more flesh. Thank you. I'm over encumbered again. Dang it! Okay. Oopsies. I don't know. Leather greaves. Let's just drop those. Oh, wait! They are... No, they are heavier than the iron shields. And they cost the same. So... At some point, hopefully soon, I'm going to... Ooh! I'm gonna get... Potions of feather. Or something else good. Bone meal. Okay. So I guess I have to go the other way now. Nope. Mushrooms! Okay. Yeah, this way. But unfortunately, we have to call this episode here, so what will we find in the darkness as we continue into the caves? Probably vampires, if I had to guess, so I hope you guys are enjoying this epic anti-vampire adventure. Uh, do let me know what you think down in the comments below, and as always, do subscribe for more shenanigans, and I will see you next time.